Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, playing some more Scrap Mechanic. Today is going to be a viewer creation. Now, I normally only do three episodes of Scrap Mechanic a week, but I decided to do a fourth one. I've got a lot of viewer creations backed up, a lot of good submissions, and I'm not ignoring them, I'm just kind of going through them slowly. Now, I will have another town update Monday or Tuesday, depending on how much work I get done this weekend, so if you'd like to join me on that, that'd be really cool. Now. I've got a viewer creation here, and it's it's actually by another channel. Uh, his name's Con Gaming. You might be sub to him. If not, I'm gonna flash it up on screen. Definitely go check him out. He's got a lot of unique builds and a lot of just a lot of concepts that I haven't seen done on Scrap Mechanic before. So definitely check that out. Now he sent me something that actually reminds me of one of my old builds that didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to. I had a floating pirate ship, and it's probably three months ago. It was okay, it kind of floated around a little bit, it wasn't the most balanced thing, and it, it didn't have any features on it, it was literally just like a block of wood that floated, so... Uh, it was okay, but he sent me something that reminds me of it. It makes me wish mine was like this. He's got a, really a lot of unique features on this. Here is his floating ship, and this thing is awesome. I mean, just, it looks good, you can already see the crane on there, he's got a cannon on there, elevators that come out the bottom, I mean it floats around great, it's so well balanced. I was really amazed and I had to sit there and look at like where he was placing these thrusters and just how he was doing everything. But yeah, let me go ahead and take it off the lift, it doesn't really lag that much, I mean I get a little bit of lag when it hits the ground at first, but once it gets off the ground it's just fine. Now let's go around to the entrance here. He's got one entrance here when it's on the ground, but he's all, when it's in the air, he's also got an elevator that actually comes out the bottom. I'll show you that here in a second. Let me go ahead and hop up in here. Uh, this here is the elevator. I'll activate it once we get up in the air. But yeah, where do I want to start here? I guess we'll start maybe in the back. In the back, he's got some crew quarters here. And you got a couple bunks, shelves. He's got a little bit of a storage area here to the left. He's got a jail cell, if you need to lock anybody up, you just click this button, open it up, and throw them in there. He's got a bathroom over here, because every pirate ship, or every ship, needs a bathroom. I don't even know if I want to call this a pirate ship, I mean, it's... It's got a lot of unique features, it almost reminds me of, like, a container ship, a pirate ship, I mean, it's got a cannon on it, and it also has a crane on it, so... I don't know really what to define this as, but yeah. Let's go up here. He's got a engine room, and let me go ahead and pull up the spider web here. You can you can see this thing is insane. It's it's so busy. Uh, he's got thrusters hidden in the walls here, and he's got tons of controllers here. Now he's got a really cool thing up here. Let me see if I can get below it. Uh, this is where the cannon is, and I cannot even explain. I I have a little bit of a idea how this thing works. But I couldn't explain it to you in detail. I'll show you it on once we get up to the top deck. It's really cool. Now, he's got all these little sensors and controllers over here. These are all working together. You can see the controllers and how the blocks dip down in front of the sensors. Everything just works in such a way here that I I would highly suggest going over to his video and checking out if you want a detailed explanation of how everything's working on the bottom here. But yeah, let's go ahead and go up to the main deck here. Now what we need to do is go ahead and close this door, that way we don't fall down. Hmm, what do I want to cover first? He's got a lot of things up here. Let's go ahead and cover the cannon real quick. Now this thing is awesome. He's got a video on it. Uh, I think it's called like the flipper or something. It'll show you how this thing works. It's all, I believe it's all done through tension. And you'll have these little controllers and these blocks are going to push up on it. And I believe these pipes are going to lock it down and then it finally releases it and it'll launch whatever's in the... Uh, basket here but to work it you need to stick a wood block down or any block really and stick one of these uh, tanks on there and then once you're through with that just go ahead and delete the block that way it's loose and you can select what direction you want it to aim in so let's say about uh, 35 degrees let's do that you're going to click this button and it's going to turn it now he originally had these on uh, I think electric motors where you can just hold down the button and turn them but he had some issues uh, the game was kind of glitching out. It's just kind of one of those scrap mechanic things that we're waiting on it to get a little bit more optimized. But yeah, we're going to click this button here on the right and you're going to watch the tension build up and 
Wait for it. Boom! That is awesome. You can already see I've launched a couple barrels today. But yeah, once you're through with that, you just click these two buttons again, and it's going to put it back into place. Uh, let's see, up here he's got a couple dummy barrels up here, and a duck on the front. Now, let's go ahead and move on, on to the crane here, and get around to it. Uh, it works. Let me go ahead and show you how it works. You've got all these controllers down here, and you can adjust these, so kind of decide. It's already in a set position. It's going to drive off the side here. And extend it out and we can lower it now it's actually going to touch the ground here It'll probably move the ship oh yep maybe I should have done this when we were actually floating but you can do that let's go ahead and get it up off the ground real quick and this last button actually closes the claw so go ahead and put this back into place let's see back here is the captain's quarters you know, of course you got to have one of these. The crew gets to sleep below the deck, but the captain gets his own nice room up here. You've got a desk, a shelf with some knickknacks on it. Uh, you've got a bed here, and he's got a... I guess we are going to call this a pirate ship, because this looks like a treasure chest. Yep, there's gold in there. Let's go ahead and close that. Alright, let's go ahead and pilot this thing. Uh, this is incredibly balanced like getting all these thrusters to work together and balance all this weight out where it doesn't tip over constantly it's a chore and he's definitely done a great job with that so let's go ahead and get in the captain's chair here and start it up now the first key is going to activate the bottom thrusters and get us off the ground and instantly the frames jump uh, I don't know what it is about the creation setting on the bottom of the ground like why it doesn't run quite the way it should but yeah, it's up off the ground. I've got the particles turned off so you can't see the thrusters going through the bottom. It's just something I like to do. Every time you have like these flying creations or floating creations, it always looks kind of odd when you see all the thrusters coming through the wood. But yeah, I've got that. Let's go ahead and zoom out. Oh, that's about as far as I'm going to get. That's going to be the second key is going to be your reverse. The first key is going to keep the thrusters aimed to the back. And you can turn it with the A and D and the W key will actually activate them. You know, for the sake of this video, let me go ahead and turn those back on. Uh, let's see, particles on. There we go. That way you can actually see the ship getting pushed forward. But yeah, you've got that. You've got, let's see what those three key. Ah, uh, there we go. It's the uh, door on the side. You've got a horn here. And the last key closes the door behind you, so let's go ahead and float around here a bit it handles really good I mean you can't be really aggressive on the uh, thrusters because you don't want to just lay into it but it turns good it goes over all these bumps now you've got I think he's got sensors under there so it kind of works with the hills and it'll try to track and see just how those thrusters need to work to get over all this terrain yeah let's go ahead and go over here I don't think I'm going to be able to go through all the trees and all that. Uh, that's just too many obstacles to dodge here, even though I think it would handle it fairly good. I might try to swing through there a little bit, but... Yeah, it actually just feels like you're floating on water, and that's really cool. I mean, every time you hit one of these little bumps, the ship will actually pitch up and down like it's going over a wave. Really awesome. And you can walk around on this. Uh, if you had friends and everybody wanted just to walk around, maybe play with the cannon, uh, you can go around and do that. It's that well balanced. Now, let's see. Where do I want to take this? Probably going to... Oh, I need to show you guys the elevator real quick. Let me go ahead and get this in position. Uh, let's get on a little bit flatter area. That way that elevator can extend all the way down. I think it would do it anyways, but let me go ahead and make sure we're on a flat area before I extend it out. The elevator is really, really cool. Uh, maybe about right here would be okay. So let's go ahead and make sure we're not moving anymore. Let's go ahead and kick that. Oh, that's actually the door there. There we go. Go ahead and get the back door. And let's jump out here. Now, he's got this elevator on here. And this is a really cool elevator. How it goes out the bottom. Because if you just use the side door, you wouldn't be able to jump up in here. You're up a little too far off the ground. So let me go ahead and get back down here. Let's see. You need to stand about right here, and it's one of these buttons. Let's uh, let's just try this one real quick. See if this does it. Nope, that might be the up button. Let's click this one and see if this is the down button. Come on, there we go. 
All right, it's gonna lower here and actually I think the ship's dipping a bit Here we go coming out the bottom here There we go, and you can just exit uh, you can use it again to climb back up and just get yourself back up in the ship. It dipped a little bit. I actually think it's supposed to uh, touch the ground and it'll stabilize the ship out. That way it doesn't move up and down when you're on the elevator here. But yeah, get back over here and click and hold it for a second and it should pop you right back in. That is awesome. I love this elevator. It's got a little door here that's going to close too. And actually... That door has got a button on it, so I think if you're out of the ship, you can go ahead and click that button and it should lower the elevator again. Uh, definitely a really unique design. Let's go ahead and go back up here. I'm going to fly it around for a little bit more. Actually, no, let's shoot the cannon one more time while we're up here. Let's go ahead and put that down. I love this cannon. Uh, it's just awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and... I'm going to shoot it. Yeah, let's just make it go just a little ways off so let's go and click that get it activated and let's see if we can get it to fire here now this does cause a little bit of lag when you're up in the air when you shoot this cannon it's something that he told me about it's just the game kind of glitching out I think the game's a little confused as what's happening uh, we're manipulating it in ways that maybe it shouldn't be doing but yeah got that let's go ahead and get up in here and drive her around a little bit more and we're gonna wrap this up here now, I believe he's got this available to download on his channel, so definitely go check that out. And like I said, he's doing a bunch of other unique creations. And I might actually get him to help me out a little bit on the town. He's got a couple, like, really cool concepts for, like, elevators and doors that I would like to implement on the hospital and other things. So, definitely, hopefully, we can get together and we can do that. But, yeah. That's going to about wrap it up for this episode today, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, Monday, Tuesday will be another town update, depending on how much work I get done this weekend. Tomorrow is probably going to be just a random video, a random game. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do. Just kind of whatever feels right, so we'll do that. Uh, hopefully you join us for that, too. But, yeah, I'm going to go fly this thing around a little bit more. Be sure to go check out his channel. I'll link it in the description, especially if you want to see more things like this. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you'd like to like and subscribe, everything helps the channel. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you.